Welcome back. As an actor, director, and a musician, Kevin Bacon is, of course, a triple threat. He danced his way into our hearts in the 80s hit Footloose, and today he's got more than 70 movies to his credit, but now trying something completely new. A highly anticipated podcast. It's called The Last Degree of Kevin Bacon. It's available on Spotify. Kevin, good morning. Good morning. This is so interesting. It's called The Last Degrees of Kevin Bacon. Now, a lot of people are podcasting these days. Yeah. But this isn't like an interview show no, no. or chat show. I can't do what you do. No, you I, could. You could no, do it better. No, the requirement of, of interviewing people is that you make the other person the center of focus. And I'm, my ego is way, <laughs> way, way too big. To You're like, not for that. OK, so <laughs> instead, this is a, it's a serial. It's a, yeah, it's a scripted. It's script. It's half hour scripted comedy. Yeah. Um, so it's really like an old radio play. It has a very, very cinematic kind of feel in terms of the sound and the music and the mix and uh, and the actors. Uh, great um, voice actors we got a chance to work with. And I love the premise. You're going to have to set it up because you're kind of, you're playing yourself or a heightened version of I am. yourself. A heightened version of me. All right, yeah. so lay out the premise because it's really funny. It's a good, it's, it's clever. Well, there's a guy named Randy Beslow who's from uh, Schaumburg, Illinois in our show, Fictional Character. And his life is not is not what he expected it to be. His marriage is, is on the rocks. And, and, um, and it's all your fault. It's all my fault because he auditioned for Footloose <laughs> and uh, he didn't get it. And I did. And that's the moment at which uh, his life uh, went down the tubes. And so he feels like if he can come to L.A. and destroy me, that he can have my life. He could be married to Kira and he could, you know, uh, have all this kind of like success. So it's it's really it's a lot of me poking fun at myself. It's a lot of poking fun at celebrity. Yeah. Uh, and about being actors and the culture of celebrity. And um, yes, you got some people playing themselves, yes. including Kira, your wife, Kira. Well, Kira, yeah, we were wondering who to cast as Kira Sedgwick. With. Luckily, she was available. <laughs> That's good. You booked her. <laughs> yeah, very good. Her. Yeah, uh, yeah. Kira plays herself. Rob Reiner is in it. Um, Terry Gross is in it. Um, Zoe Deschanel is in it. Uh, right? Uh, uh, Emily Did Deschanel. Re- Emily. Oh. Emily Deschanel. Yeah. One, you know, one Deschanel, you know them all. Right. Now they're going to be mad at me. Right. So, so, and I don't want to give too much away, but this is a mystery and a thriller as well. It's a thriller. It? Yeah, it's kind of a <laughs> sort of a thriller, I guess. I mean, he. Well, there's he, murder. There's murder. You sound yeah, like a he, dateline. He NBC comes, episode. Yeah. <laughs> he comes. He comes to L.A. to kill me. That's why it's called. Okay, I didn't know degree. if I could say that. Yeah. Well, you know, it's not that much of a spoiler. Okay. Um, I think he, he. You know, one of the things that's that's important uh, to to his story is that when I was walking out of the audition, I ran into him, and I commented on his white tank top. <laughs> that he was wearing for the audition. And then I ended up, when I got the part, wearing the tank top yeah. in the movie. So he comes to L.A., and one of the things he really wants to do is strangle me with the white, white tank top. Oh, that's very poetic. Yeah, it's very, yes, exactly. Does he feel that you stole his white tank top idea, I and stole that's the how idea, yeah. you got the part in Footloose that's the and you didn't? That's the only thing that made the movie a success was, was his white tank top but idea. But Kevin Bacon in the, in the show... It turns out needs an assistant and a best friend. I do. That's a that's another piece of it is that um, that I don't have any friends, and that even <laughs> though I'm connected to all these people, like for instance, they I'm going to the Lakers game, and uh, I can't get anybody to go to the Lakers game with me. And Kira's like, you got to get yourself a friend. She's pushing <laughs> me to to have friendship, and I'm like, I have friends, I have friends. She's like, you really don't. And um, <laughs> and and so this guy actually, I think to myself, not only do I think he could be a best friend. I hire him as an assistant, thinking he could be a friend slash assistant right there. You're basically paying for your friend. Paying for a friend, yes. yes. And then eventually, in the course of the show, he starts trying to give me some friend lessons, uh-huh. how to actually be a friend. So this guy that's actually come to L.A. to kill me is, is uh, not only <laughs> my assistant, but he's also uh my friend. So it's a multiple part. How was it being to do this? I mean, you're obviously used to... Being on screen, was everyone like sitting around in their sweats? No. Or did you dress up to well, be no, in we part? No, we didn't dress up. Um, plus, I was playing myself, so I was allowed to wear my own clothes. Um, Your tank top. My tank top, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's it's really interesting because I, I'm, I'm not one of those people that's been kind of part of the animation thing. I haven't really yeah. done not, none of it, yeah. pretty much. I did once animated a dog. But um, <laughs> but I... I to to just use your voice as an actor is a really kind of interesting thing, and it's 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 interesting because I I feel like a lot of times what really helps is is doing things physically. You know, yeah. like for instance, if you if you're going to be out of breath, you know, in a scene, you could just go. <sighs> 
it's better to get down on the floor and do some push-ups and then st stand up and, tr and try to oh. try to do the scene because it's going to feel more natural. If you're if you're taking a swing at somebody or if you're or if you're waving your hands, I, I do a lot of when I'm acting uh, on the podcast. There's a lot of like physical stuff that kind of goes goes along. That's with interesting because you'd think maybe it'd be easier, but in some ways, it sounds like it's a heavier lift. Well, yeah. the thing is, is that you're only using one part of your instrument. You yeah. don't have your you don't have your body. You don't have your expressions. You don't have a lot of stuff. Well. I'm in, okay? It's uh -huh. called The Last Degree of Kevin Bacon. I heard you didn't used to like the whole six degrees of Kevin Bacon thing. You know, when it first came out, I thought it was kind of a joke at my expense. But uh, listen, I've, 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 I, it, it doesn't seem to be going away. No, so. ride the wave. Now you got a show uh, called Exactly. Last yeah. Degree of Kevin Bacon. It's on Spotify. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. <laughs>